What's up, you guys? It's Lo, Beauty Demon, and I am back with more internet BS. Before we get into it today, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon thing somewhere here. And before we get into it, happy Pride Month. We are highlighting the Trevor Project this month, which is a crisis hotline for LGBTQI plus teens. If you are going through suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, whatever struggles that you may be dealing with, the Trevor Project is there to help. So if you or someone you know needs help and support, click the link down below. They have a hotline you can call. I think they have a text line and a chat line too. So lots of options that can work for you if you're unable to speak, but you need help right away. So moving into this today, we're going to be talking about Gabby Hanna's new trailer for her series, because that's what this was, right? This was a trailer for her docu-series. Was I wrong in thinking that? This was a clip that was cut from the podcast burnout that she had with Trisha Paytas back in uh, late January. During that podcast, I talked about it. Trisha looked very uncomfortable. She always said that Gabby cut this clip to make herself look better. But before I get into this, I just wanna say everything in this video are just my thoughts, my opinions. This is not fact, it's just what I think from watching this video a few times. And I am going into this as unbiased as I could be. Well, not unbiased because I, I have opinions about both of these people, but they're both pretty problematic people to say the least. So they're they're like on a, the same playing field is more what it is. They're on the same playing field. So I, I guess we're, we're equal in this sense. Basically, I'm saying I don't have a horse in this race, so I'm just going into this with an open mind to see what Gabby has to say. Gabby does say at the beginning of this that she cut this because she didn't want to embarrass Trisha, even though Trisha has said this was cut because it makes Gabby look bad. So I was already a little intrigued. And Gabby does show receipts in this. She does post some screenshots of text messages from different different years and based on the conversations it does sound like her and Trisha talked a lot more than Trisha would make it sound like they did. Just by reading some of the text messages Trisha honestly she sounds kind of fake to me that she's almost like placating Gabby just to get Gabby to maybe I don't know leave her alone but then in other instances where Gabby like reaches out to her she seems very thankful. Trish it just seems like Trisha's really fake in these and she was kind of being a fake friend which is really what I I guess Gabby is calling her out for as being a fake friend. During the entire podcast, or at least during this clip anyway, Trisha is literally countering everything that Gabby is saying. You can see Trisha getting more and more tense, more and more riled up. You can see a lot more of the emotion in her. But Gabby is almost alarmingly calm through this entire thing. She does seem more genuine, I will say that. If this was how Gabby Hanna always acted instead of being completely insane online, I, I may not even have a problem with her, to be totally honest. It's a lot of back and forth between them. Eventually, Trisha starts demanding receipts which Gabby says she'll provide, but she wasn't really like ready to do that. They, she didn't know the conversation was going to go this way, which come on, you know the conversation is going to go that way if you're Gabby Hanna and you have Trisha Paytas coming over. But she does say she'll go charge up a phone and pull things up. She does go through her phone to start finding like screenshots of tweets, which I was like, well, you did have some receipts ready. And the other thing, I think it was Dustin Daly that mentioned this, but the time that uh, Gabby is referencing for when her and Trisha were friends, quote unquote, is when Trisha was in her active addiction. So she may not even remember any of these text conversations or anything because she was in active addiction and she was dealing with psychosis. And even at the time of this podcast filming, she was going through, I think like medication changes and getting different diagnoses. They were still trying to figure out what she was struggling with. So I think those two things culminate together to create a lot of confusion and maybe even some memory loss for Trisha. But if that's the case, then Trisha can just come out and say, look, that was a really bad time in my life when I was actively using, everybody knows that. And I just don't remember these conversations. Like I really don't. Gabby does show these conversations. So she does prove that they are real. This kind of just shows me what I already kind of suspected about Gabby Hanna and her personality and who she is as a person. She really craves validation and acceptance and being right. She has to be right to the point where it makes other people extremely uncomfortable. And if there's one thing that I've learned 
learned in life, you can either be right all the time or you can be happy. And Gabby seems so focused on being right all the time that she doesn't seem like she's happy. She really doesn't. I mean, based on everything that we see playing out on the internet and she doesn't seem like she's in a happy place. And it's, I think, because she's insecure and she has to prove that she's right all the time or that she's in the right. When sometimes she's not and she doesn't need to be. She needs to learn to let sleeping dogs lie. She just is out here beating a dead horse with this. And I know I'm just using a lot of metaphor, but it's it's true. Like, just get over it. Trisha is not your friend. She didn't think you were friends. She doesn't remember these conversations. She thinks you're full of shit, Gabby. Move on. Just, just move on. But instead of moving on, she drops at the end of the video that she has her series coming out on June 23rd. And I, I liked the trailer enough, so I'll probably watch the series and Maybe I'll kind of talk about what I see in this series. Now, a lot of people were pretty upset that she leaked this instead of addressing Jesse Smiles' leaked phone call. And she said it would be in the series, which means she is once again going to be involving a story that is not hers and there's nothing to tell. And she might actually be making money off of it. Like, that's just disgusting. So there was a whole hashtag of apologize to Gabby Hanna, which was started by, I'm not exactly sure who started it, but I know like Nicholas DiOrio, Tom. Let me see. Augie RFC, they all tweeted it. And I went into one of their live streams where they were watching, uh, I think they were watching Dustin Daly's video or the viewer voice. I don't know, you know, them being a couple now, I have no idea whose channel I'm watching. They're just both in the videos together. And Gabby Hanna was in the chat. So they were completely validating her. The entire stream was just giving her a lot of support. So it probably felt really nice for her, but she still hasn't apologized for all this other shit. So people don't even want to hear apologize to Gabby Hanna even if it's calling Trisha Paytas. From seeing these clips, I understand a little bit more where Gabby is coming from in this whole Trisha Paytas, were we friends situation. But once again, who fucking cares? Like this is obviously something that is mentally damaging to both of you. Why don't you just forget about it? Just forget about it and move on. She doesn't want to be your friend. This is just, it's cringy. It's like you're trying to force a friendship onto her and she's not going to give you that validation. So just Stop. Just stop. So that was my quick little video today about Gabby Hanna. I hope you liked it. I will be watching the series when it comes out next week, so stay tuned for videos about that. And if you liked this video today, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the Taco Bell notification because it does look like a Taco Bell icon. Hit it wherever it is so you get notifications every time I post because I do not have a regular post schedule yet. I'm sorry. I know that's annoying. I'm trying to work on it. All right, you guys. I will see you laters. Bye.